Watch you guys got another video on why every PC owner needs this portable repair kit. This is a free tool you can use called Windows Repair Toolbox. It's a free portable application you can use, but there is a paid version uh, that adds obviously branding and also some custom apps that you can add to it. But the free version is pretty good and you can use this to troubleshoot and diagnose uh, PC problems and fix them and you can also remove malware with this tool as well so if you do PC repair or you fix PCs or you just like to tinker and fix your family's PCs then something like this on your USB flash drive can be useful to have now as a disclaimer here obviously you're accepting the responsibility if anything happens to your computer this tool has zero warranty and you'll be running this tool at your own risk now I have put a quick disclaimer up here myself saying this information provided in this video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. So just read this and you should be pretty much good to go. Once you're accepting that policy, you can then download and use the free tool. You can get it on your PC, unpack it, and it should look something like this. From here, you're gonna open the tool up, which says Windows Repair Toolbox. Double click on this one here and it should open. Now there'll be some other folders in here like downloads, which is for the files that you're downloading off the internet. Say yes to the user account control here and accept their terms and conditions. So let's go ahead and do that right here and we can click on start and this will then start the application up for the first time. So we're just gonna let this do its performing loading sequence right here and then you should see a box popping up which will give us access to all of the tools. But definition update has been done, so all of these have been done. So the first section is on the tools section. This section offers a collection of useful PC applications designed for system repairs, troubleshooting, backup and restore, and loads of other things. You can see right here, we have hardware, useful tools, repairs, backup and recovery, windows, and uninstallers it's into little categories here so whatever you're trying to do on the pc you can click on these and it will download these applications very quickly for you to be able to carry out that task so for instance if you wanted to say for instance download uh, procmon which is a process monitor so you've got a rogue process that is running on the system maybe it's a piece of malware or maybe it's some sort of rogue process running you can use something like procmon or maybe you've got graphics card issues and you want to uninstall the graphics card driver, you can use Display Driver Uninstaller DDU for short. And you can see right here, it's going to allow you to uh, run this and uninstall uh, NVIDIA drivers or even AMD drivers as well and Intel drivers. So you can use this tool for that. So there's loads of other tools on here which are quite useful. Uh, for instance, blue screen view and a load of other ones on here. The next section is the malware removal section, which allows you to download malware removal tools for scanning and detecting and removing viruses and malware and adware from the PC. Under the malware removal tab, the first tab is Arkill. Arkill is going to kill any sort of rogue processes that are running, which are malware on the system to stop you from running malware removal tools. So once you run this program, it will kill off those rogue processes that are stopping you from running applications on your system. And you can see here, you should now be able to run normal security programs. So for instance, this is the Arkill uh, log file, and it will tell you we have no issues on here because we have no infections on this system. But if you did, it will tell you what it actually did to stop it. Now you can run your next tool which is adw cleaner which is to remove any adware from the system any pups any uh, pre-installed software on here it will find it that is related to adware it also allows you to do basic repair actions and reset firewall settings reset bits reset the proxy just in case malware has changed any of this stuff which it likes to do it likes to change permissions on your browser and things like that and you will get redirects it can reset all of this after you've removed any malicious nasty malware or adware from that system so you can just let this run and it will do a scan and it will find them and remove them from the pc it's a very powerful tool but it's very useful you can either skip to run the basic repair or run basic repair 
I'm going to skip it because I have no infections and I don't want to continue uh, running those sort of fixes on the PC. You've got some other tools like Kaspersky tool here, Microsoft tool, and also ESET online scanner. If you want to run more scans, you can do. This is always advisable to run multiple scans on the computer to make sure there's no traces left behind. And this can remove all of those nasties from your PC. Choose what options you want on your system and run a full scan. It's always important to run a full scan on the system. And you can also scan for potentially unwanted applications, PUPS for short. And it's quite useful to run scans on the system to find any traces that might be left behind from your previous scan. I would even go as far as running malware bytes as well, which you can also download on this application and run a bunch of different applications to make sure the system is fully cleaned. Let me just exit out of this and we can continue on taking a look. So you can see here on the second uh, options, we've got Hitman Pro, we've got Rogue Killer, we've got Malware Bytes, F-Secure, Norton PE, and Dr. Web. There's quite a few useful apps you can use to remove viruses, malware, adware, uh, Trojans, any sort of worms on the system. It will remove all of this stuff by using these tools. And like I said before, when removing malware from the system, it's advisable to run multiple different software just to make sure it's fully cleaned. And once it's cleaned, you want to empty out your system restore points and create a new system restore point saying clean PC. From here, this will remove any pop-ups, any nag screens, any redirects from your browser, anything like that. You can clean up the system afterwards with maintenance and repair tools from from here, you can see we have the Windows Repair uh, tool right here. This is from tweaking.com. And again, you can use this to fix issues with permissions. Maybe that malware has changed permissions on your PC that is causing your, your browsing to redirect to a nasty website that you don't want it to redirect to. You would have to remove those permissions and then clean up the system. And you can do all that with these tools. Because Windows is one of the most used operating systems in the world, it gets attacked by loads of different types of uh, malware creators. And of course, they create very uh, powerful malware that can turn off your antivirus program, make the browser redirect, get pop-ups and nag screens to nasty pop-ups and ads, and they just don't go away. They can be very persistent. You can use other tools like auto runs for any malware that is starting up in the background and it just keeps running you can freeze it right here and delete it as well and there's loads of extras on this tools these are all from microsoft themselves if you want to see videos on any of the software we're talking about right here then let me know in the comment section down below i have made uh, malware removal videos in the past and they're all very useful today even though they were made quite a long time ago they're still very useful videos. Under this section, you'll see it's grayed out. This will be obviously under the paid uh, banner. So you would have to pay for it to use custom tools to add in here for yourself. I think it's about 15 euros. He updates this app all the time, but it is quite a useful feature if you're a PC repair shop and you've got a load of tools that you like to add in to this uh, menu, you can do right here. You can check all your file associations right here. You can click on these to see if they're opening up correctly and whether all these are working properly. You can click on this here and it will open up and it will show you uh, whether they're opening up okay. So here you can generate a personal log and generate anonymous log if you want to. We've got Word here. It will attempt to open up a Word document, Excel, to make sure that they are functioning properly. Zip files, MP4, MP3, and so on because malware does like to change a lot of these and again you've got your webcam and your microphone here you can test that right here as well you can write notes down if you're a pc repair shop you like to write notes about what you've done and save them so you can show that to your customer you can write down a full uh, note here of what you've carried out on that pc and what you've removed and it's a really useful tool to have on your USB flash drive or even keeping it on your PC because you never know when you've got problems with your computers you can run something like this and it will have loads of useful little tools in here 
which you can use. Now under this section right here, this is the download and update section as well. And you've also got your clear downloads. You've got your monitors here to monitor CPU, RAM, and all that sort of good stuff. So it'll tell you exactly what's going on. Here is your grayed out section for branding. If you've got a company logo that you like to put on here, you would have to pay 15 euros to get access to that. You can then add your logo. And there's some other sections here. You've got your reset to defaults, your check for updates, and so on. And there's the creator's email and a website there. If you ever want to get in contact with him, he's a nice fella. He's always been around our community for many years. And I remember when he first started this tool, right at the very beginning, and he was on our forums many years ago. And the tool has come on leaps and bounds over the years. And this is pretty useful at the bottom of the application as well, which gives you the system specs and also what's happening with the system. Anyway, that's about it for this video. Let me know if you've got any comments about what other software that you want to see, and I'll do my best to make those videos for you. My name has been Brian from bradtechcomputers.co.uk. Big shout out to my YouTube members. I appreciate the support. Happy New Year to everyone, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.